Thank you, George. So today we decided that we're going to uh, pop open the time capsule, if you will, oh, oh. to the year that we moved right here into Times Square Studio. First up, the sounds of 1999. Britney Spears was in the news, the up-and-coming pop star announcing her Baby One More Time tour, stopping by MTV just across the street to talk about it. And when asked about the future of her career and the kind of music she said she wanted well, to stick to her tried-and-true yeah. formula of making danceable pop hits. Well, we think it worked out pretty well for you there, Miss Britney. Also 99, the Backstreet Boys released their Millennium album, which quickly... Wow, big fans of Backstreet Boys, I see Fonzie. Uh, that quickly became the best-selling album that year, making the already popular group larger than life, if you will. And 1999 was smooth for Rob Thomas and Santana. Remember this one? Such a good... Their collaboration called Smooth, spending the last 10 weeks of 1999 in the Billboard Top 100. But the biggest song of 1999. Hit it, guys. Do you believe that? That's right, girl. Share, making us all believe in life after love. So that was music. The shoulder pop happens immediately. I love when you turn back to horn. Yes, turn back to horn. We haven't even heard that. Thank you for that. Another throwback this morning. Uh, how about the sexiest man alive back in 1999? He was both an officer and a gentleman, Mr. Richard Gere. Everybody. for him, here starring in one of our all-time favorites, Runaway Bride, alongside Julia Roberts. And speaking of movies in 99, Whoopi Goldberg hosted the Academy Awards that year. And who can forget Gwyneth Paltrow in that iconic pink Ralph Lauren gown accepting the Oscar for Best Actress for her role in Shakespeare in Love, which also won the Oscar that year for Best Picture. At the Grammys in 99, it was Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. That won Record of the Year. And at the 51st Annual Primetime Emmy Awards, it was The Sopranos with the most nominations in its very first season. That was the first season in 1990. I just got chills. That seems so good. Right? Change in, yes, in all of television. That really did it. Yeah. I feel like that was the linchpin in television. Who knew? They knew even then, I guess, that it would become one of the best TV series of all time. And then finally, I just had to throw this in. It's a quickie because such a coincidence. 1999, the year GMA started broadcasting right here in Times Square studio with Charlie and Diane mm -hmm. at the helm. It was also the year I was brought over. Yeah. yeah. So I was brought over from Eyewitness News as a GMA reporter. My very first assignment in the fall of 1999. Covering of all things Pokemon, the big craze, how kids were skipping school. It was a tough assignment to see the very first Pokemon movie the minute it came out. Robin, take a look. Oh. WABC's Lara Spencer, who's going to join us, we hope, from time to time, decided to go out and bust a few of the kids, right? <laughs> a few? They were all over the place. And you know, the thing is, today is a legal school holiday. So theaters like this one will be filled. There are seven showing here. They are expected to be packed, but of course there were those who couldn't wait. You know that little yellow guy called Pikachu? Kind of sounds like Achu. Yeah, a lot of that going on around here yesterday in New York City. Thumbs up, according to critics, as well as the Daily News. Oh, it was such a baby! The voice! It's the voice! The voice yeah, that's so young. I sounded like I was like helium balloon. <laughs> Oh, yes, the hair, the voice, and Pokemon standing the test of time, as is our wonderful home right here in Times Square. And everyone, that is Pop News. Yeah.